Anything you're planning on trying differently? <laughs> I'm gonna try a buzz bait tonight. We'll see if it'll work. I yeah. don't know. Uh, my name is Rusty Rosenfeld. Uh, I'm from Noble, Oklahoma. I was born and raised here. Um, grew up fishing with my dad. You know, my dad was more of a weekend fisherman and uh, started out just fishing whenever we had free time, you know. And then uh, as I grew up, uh, my dad started fishing a few tournaments and uh, I fished a few with him. And uh, that's kind of what got me started. We started the Thursday Night Jackpots about five years ago. It started out one of uh, Riley's friends. He was uh, another kid about, he was probably six or seven years old. His dad lives out there, you know, so he started just Thursday nights as a, a way to, you know, all the guys to get together and have a good time and go fishing on, once a week. He ran it for about two years and uh, he couldn't make it every week so he asked me if I would run it. So I started running it. I said, this is crazy. Well, I think, you know, as guys come, they get to know each other, become closer friends. You meet more guys that like to fish and you, know, you can swap stories and talk about how you're catching fish, what what lures you're catching them on, and how you caught them. And I think it's a camaraderie, you know. At first it was kind of uh, frustrating because figuring out you know, all the money and how to run it and everything. I'd never run a tournament before. Until then, that was the first time I'd ever run one, so. But once you get, you know, all the payouts, you know, written down and everything, the way you want it, it's it's pretty easy to run. So is fishing, would you say fishing is kind of like, um, like a stress relief or how would you? Uh, to me, like you said, it's a stress, stress relief. It's a way to get away from working, uh, relaxing. You know, some people golf, I like to fish. Oklahoma. I'm a senior in high school at Noble High School. How old were you when your dad started taking you fishing? Probably two years old at Lake Texoma. Striper fishing or bluegill fishing off the docks. Who's the better fisherman, you or your dad? Probably my dad. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest thing is that he likes to do it. You know, a lot of times uh, parents will make kids do something that they don't like to do. But... He really enjoys it, and he f he'd fish more than I would if he could, so that's one good thing about it. And uh, yeah, it was great getting to, you know, teach him things, and we learned together with, you know, the way, uh, you know, live scopes come out and different things like that, side imaging, how uh, things have changed over the past, you know, five to ten years. It's fishing's totally different than it was even, you know, five years ago. Last April, wasn't it? I had about a seven pounder at the boat, and I whacked my dad with, in the head with the rod when he went to net it, and it got off right then. It was pretty upsetting. Thinking about it the rest of the day, and at the end of the tournament, we would have won it if I had got that one in. One of the biggest moments I remember is uh, we, well, technically, I won. It was an individual tournament, but he was with me. Uh, we won the uh, Big Catch Tournament at Lake Thunderbird for the biggest bass, and it was the last year they had it. And uh, I, I hooked a, what it weigh, 691 on a spinner bait. And when that thing jumped the first time, you know, I mean, Riley was only about, what, seven or eight at the time. I told him to get the net, and he couldn't even unlatch the net, much less any, you know, dip it and. 
That thing went around the boat twice before he finally got it unlatched and we got it in the net. He finally helped me get it in the net. Now that was a pretty cool moment. Well, over the next two years, I plan on being an apprentice electrician at company and fishing in the free time whenever I can. Keep going on Thursday nights. I don't know, we're gonna, we haven't really made plans yet, but you know, he's gonna start working uh, full time as an electrician. So maybe, just maybe, I won't have to pay all the entry fees now. <laughs> so that's one good thing. But yeah, we'll keep fishing together and hopefully maybe we'll get to where we can fish bigger tournaments together. Oh, we'll always fish, yeah. Whether we'll fish as many tournaments together or not, I don't know. But yeah, as he finds, you know, high school friends and other friends that like to fish, sometimes he fishes with them instead of me. So, but we'll always have that time together growing up. So. Yeah, Chris Bell. Okay, two, four, four, six. 
this shot and beard. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Appreciate it. Hey, somebody was telling me it passed. I Boy, if it did, there'll be lawsuits. I mean, I kind of, I know how he caught it. <laughs> you heard what I said, didn't you? He had to get his dad to come out there. No, he got, he got rid of Riley and he catches fish. <laughs> So I ran over the other way. It was like gun game, but fishing. I could catch one on one thing, couldn't catch it on again, so I just kept moving, changing baits. Then I hooked my kicker fish for that five and a half on a Carolina rig and started just running the bank with a buzz bait. Caught another fish. Got our limit, ran back here, weighed in. Pretty good time. Six eight six. 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 Six eight and then uh, first place, Cosper and Cosper was 686. Another 160 yards. Thank you. Yes, sir. I just went out there to the same spot I always go to, and I never catch a big one. Never. The same spot. And I, you know, just throwing it out there, you know, just playing around, sitting there just jigging it, and I was like, oh, Dad, get the net, get the net. It was a pretty good one. Uh, we called that time. We called three times tonight. But I had a lot of fun. First time winning. Been doing this for like five five weeks now. And yeah, I always come in the last place, but finally I got to win. What do you? One more question. What are you gonna do with your winnings? Your big win? Tell everyone. <laughs> tell everyone how great I am at fishing, especially my mom. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. It's the last one for the year. I'll start it back up the first week of April. Hey, thank you for seeing us all year. We appreciate y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all. Enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and have a jackpot in October on a Saturday. I'll put it on the Facebook page. i got to try and find the open Saturday weekend. I can do it first, though. That's the plan. Yeah. We'd, 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 we'd Besides, I'm probably, I'm probably going to have to find a new, new partner. So even our book, we can fish our book on that slide. Well, he, yeah, well, since he's going to be on this movie, about that his hands are going to be on this I asked him who his stunt double was going to be last week. You better get a handsome one, okay? Well, I'll tell you what.